hello friends welcome back and uh, today I'm going to tell you a trick in VLOOKUP now uh, V stand for vertical uh, the data which you uh, which is visible to you this data has been represented in a vertical manner so this is the master data which you are seeing here and uh, we have got another data which is a compare data there it is now I've got two particular files uh, one file where I've got the complete information means I have got serial number name qualification and all the details and another file um, this is the file where we have got only the names in my previous video I have uh, informed means I have uh, taught you that how to uh, make use of VLOOKUP in order to get the desired result in fact we have used the array VLOOKUP function as well now I am going to tell you uh, a trick in VLOOKUP look here the data is not that simple here it's serial number, name, qualification, location however the sequence over here is serial number, name, contacts, qualification, course, location and then email id and here the sequence is different now I want to get the result in one go means I don't want to apply a VLOOKUP in this particular column means the column of qualification then of course one by one if I will uh, go ahead uh, through that approach yes definitely I will get the result but what I want I want the result to come in a single go also the trick that I am going to tell you it uh, will be applicable if the columns are not in sequence so uh, before that uh, we need to understand one particular function that's a match function so what is match functions match function um, what it does it tell you the row or the column number depends upon the data it's a very simple function first of all individually uh, we need to understand the match so I'm applying a match function uh, so here what I want I want to know that this particular name is in which number row in this master data so for this I will apply a match function lookup value is this name comma and then it's asking for the lookup array now lookup array is different from table array whenever it's asking for lookup array you will have to select a particular column that you are looking for or a particular row so in this particular case uh, it's a vertical representation of data I want to look for let's say this particular name and the lookup array is gonna be this column where the names are there so I have selected this particular column uh, you may see here that uh, by default it has been turned into an absolute data which is good and comma and then it's asking for what kind of match you want to happen and we always go for exact match what does this mean actually if I'm looking for Bhagwan I want to match it with Bhagwan only not Bhagwan Sina or some other name so I have selected exact match bracket close enter and there you will see that I've got eight what does this mean actually the Bhagwan name is in there in the master editor yes it is there and it's in the eighth number role let me check here um, you may see it's in the eighth row when we have made the selection to an table uh, lookup array I have not select the title I have started selecting over here so it's in the eighth number row which is good uh, similarly the match function will uh, will uh, give you the result if you have selected the column I'm going to delete this and here I'm applying a match function lookup values qualification comma lookup array I have selected there it is I have not selected serial number because that's irrelevant and the exact match and that's in the third number column in the master data here it is so I will make use of it now I will apply a simple VLOOKUP function so how I'm going to do this look we can do this function in a single go but here I'm going to uh, tell it step by step so that it will be easy for you to understand so first of all I'm applying a VLOOKUP function it's a VLOOKUP 
lookup value is this particular uh, name i am looking for bhagwant name in the master data comma table array as a table array i will not select the title and the serial number i will start selecting over here that's what the rule is and uh, you will have to do the selection i have made the complete selection of data here you can see um, one important thing which i have uh, informed you in the first video also again i am telling you that uh, if you have start writing the function in some other file means in this in my case i have written the function in some other file and right now i am in in the master data so don't panic uh, you can continue writing your function no need to go back to that particular file even if you will go it will not make an impact so now what you need to do the next thing that is comma and then you will have to apply a column index number now the i want to get this mobile number however the contact number uh, where i am writing this function the contact number is in not in the second column uh, in the master data it is in the second column so right now i am just giving two because uh, here you can see in the compare data it's the qualification actually and the qualification here in real data it's in third column so what i need to do i am coming back to this function and column index number so as a column index number one two three let's say i have given three and what kind of match i'm looking for i'm going to do a false which is an exact match i've closed this and enter it's giving me the function now the problem is that if i'm going to drag it in the right side it will not give me an answer there are two problems first one here b2 the lookup value has been changed to you can see c2 which i don't want here i will use a dollar sign in front of b so it will make it constant column wise another problem is that now if i'm going to drag it over here you will see that mc mc is coming now it's not giving me the output on the basis of like it, it has it need to give me the output on the basis of location now because i need to give the column number means in the master data what is the column number where you may get location or qualification how to get that so i will make it automate how i am removing three from here i am applying a match function as i have said to you that match function will tell you that in which column number that particular data is so match lookup value is qualification means i have selected c1 and if i am going to drag it column wise then c1 will become d1 which i want but when i am going to drag it row wise means doing the autofill then it will become c1 to c2 which i don't want so i want to make it constant but i will do the constant row wise so i will put dollar sign in front of one okay now that will serve the purpose uh, and match function i have applied lookup value this one then comma then lookup array now lookup array i will go to this data real data and uh, lookup array is this particular uh, row and what kind of match i am looking for i am looking for exact match bracket close then put comma and then again false okay and then again press enter now if you will drag it you will have the output here you can see that location is giving the output of location email id and contact and so on and all uh, whatever you want to find out it's giving the output in a single go so thank you for watching it if you have some more query and concern just uh, drop a comment i will try to answer all the relevant questions thank you for watching have a nice day